Good morning, everyone. Today's story is The Whispering Rabbit. Once there was a sleepy little rabbit who began to yawn. And he yawned and he yawned and he yawned and he yawned. Hmm. He opened his little rabbit mouth when he yawned till you could see his white front teeth and his little round pink mouth. And he yawned and he yawned until suddenly a bee flew into his mouth and he swallowed the bee. said a big round owl. Always keep your paw in front of your mouth when you yawn, hooted the owl. Rabbits never do that, said the sleepy little rabbit. Silly rabbits, said the owl, and he flew away. The little rabbit wanted to call after the owl. He opened his mouth to speak, but the bumblebee was curled up asleep in his throat, and all the little rabbit could do was whisper. What shall I do? He whispered to a squirrel who wasn't sleepy. Wake him up, said the squirrel. Wake up the bumblebee. How? whispered the rabbit. All I can do is whisper and I'm sleepy and I want to go to sleep. But who can sleep with a bumblebee? Suddenly, a wise old groundhog popped up out of the ground. All I can do is whisper, said the little rabbit. All the better, said the groundhog. Come here, little rabbit, he said, and I will whisper to you how to wake up a bumblebee. You have to make the littlest noise that you can possibly make because a bumblebee doesn't bother about big noises. He is a very little bee and he is only interested in little noises. Like a loud whisper, asked the rabbit. Too loud, said the groundhog, and he popped back into his hole. A little noise, whispered the rabbit, and he started making little rabbit noises. He made a noise as quiet as the sound of a bird's wing cutting the air, but the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made the sound of snow falling, but the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made the sound of a bug breathing, and a fly sneezing, and grass rustling, and a firefighter thinking. Still, the bee did not wake up. So the rabbit sat and thought of all the little sounds he could think of. What could they be? A sound quiet as snow melting? Quiet as a flower growing? Quiet as an egg wrestling in its shell? Quiet as... And suddenly he knew the little noise that he could make. And he made it. It was like a little click made hundreds of miles away by a bumblebee and an apple tree in full bloom on a mountaintop. It was the very small click of a bee swallowing some honey from an apple blossom. And at that, the bee woke up and he thought he was missing something and he flew away. And then what did the little rabbit do? That sleepy, sleepy little rabbit. He closed his mouth, he closed his eyes, he closed his ears, and he tucked in his paws and twitched his nose. And he went sound asleep. And there's the little bee looking for flower and his nectar. All right, guys, have a good day.